Hi everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I got a tumbler for you today, I know, but this is different. This is a new technique. Well, not new, but I haven't done this one for a long time on my channel, so no vinyl involved. Well, there's a little vinyl involved, but not the way you think it's going to be. So I'm going to do what's called a peekaboo tumbler, and I'm going to do it with alcohol inks, and I'm going to top coat it with glitter. Those of you who don't do tumblers, stick around. It's going to be super cool. I think I'll inspire you to try one. Um, today is the day after Christmas that this is being released in 2023. I hope you had a beautiful and wonderful Christmas with your friends and your family. And um, I know you guys are all thinking about deer because of the reindeer and Santa and all that stuff. Well, in my house, we think of deer a little bit differently. And we think of them like this. And what I'm going to do, see all these? I also have these little deer tracks. I know earlier, a couple weeks back, I said I was going to do a tumbler for my husband. But I decided it's not going to be for him. This one's going to be for me. Because I've made him multiple tumblers and he is attached to like one. So he only uses his one. So this one, I use different tumblers every day of the year. Not every day, but every season of the year, I change my tumbler. So since it is hunting season, I'm going to make a camo cup. So I have already filled in my little bottom with UV resin so I can make it flat. I have sanded down the stainless steel, washed it down with alcohol, and then I covered it with white spray paint. So I am bringing you up to speed of what I have already done. This is a 30 ounce straight. And we are going to make pink camo. I was going to do guy's camo, but since I know he's not going to use it because he's so attached to the one that I've made him a long time ago, he still has a brand new tumbler from uh, about a month ago I made for him that he chose the design and he still hasn't used it. So this is mine. I'm going to use this one. So I've already used my Christmas tumbler. Christmas is over. It's time to get a new one. So I'm going to show you how to put camo on this painted surface. And we're going to create that camo with alcohol inks. Once that is dry, I'm going to throw one coat of resin on there. And we're going to get these on and off. So these are made with the junkiest vinyl that I had because we're going to put them on and we're going to pull them off. So we're going to put these on, cover it with glitter, pull them off, and we're going to have a peekaboo design. So we're going to have a camo peeking through my glitter. You know I have to have glitter even in my camo. So let's get started, guys. I'm so excited for this one. So the first thing you're going to want to do, each tumbler has a different circumference, I guess. I know, big words, right? This one is 10 inches around. So you want to cut a piece of saran wrap at least 10 inches. So that's what this one is like 14 inches. I just guessed and it's, it's way bigger. So this one is uh, probably 16 inches. So for at least 10 inches of this, I'm going to drip my alcohol inks into it. Now you're gonna want another piece laying around once this is done. So choose your colors for your camo. I've chosen three different pinks, a white and a black, because that's the one that I like. And what you're gonna do is just drip your colors, shake them up really well, drip your colors all around your paper, plastic wrap, I guess you should say. And as much or as little as you want, there's really no set way to do this. Just shake them pretty good. That's the only thing you want to make sure you're shaking them. And then you can always, if you're missing a color somewhere, you can always go back and do it again. If you don't like the way it came out, you can repeat this step as many times as you need to until you get it the way that you want it. So what you're gonna do, the way I'm gonna do it, I hope I did 10 inches, I wasn't looking. Let me take this off, I think. That way I'm not using the arm. I'm just going to wrap my plastic wrap around my cup. Oh, 
Let me zoom out for you. And then what you're gonna do is just kind of like squish it around. And you can already see all the different colors going everywhere. And because I didn't do the bottom, I do wanna get it on the bottom as well, but there are missing some spots, which is not a big deal. So I'm just gonna undo my plastic wrap and I'm going to do it again. And I'm gonna show you another way other than this way to do it. So it is sticking pretty good because this stuff dries really fast. I am going to just put some on the bottom up the sides a little bit where I missed while it's still wet. Okay. So I'm missing a lot of spots. So let me show you another way to do it. I'm just gonna try to stretch the same piece out since I've already used it. Move that out of my way. And you're going to do the same thing. Put your colors all over your plastic wrap. Try to keep it as straight as possible though. It'll definitely help you out. Now I'm gonna I'm going to leave the white out because my cup is white. So I'm just going to drip some of the black and the pinks all over my paper. Plastic, I should say, not paper. And because it was spotty, you can do it this way. You can fold over your paper, I'm sorry, plastic and kind of like squish it all together so there's no empty spots. Unfold it and then rewrap your cup, which is what I will do with this one once I get it flat again. Okay, so here we go with it. I'm gonna put it in this way. I need to get rid of that paper. Wrap my cup up, kind of squish it all around. get my bottom. Now what I'm going to do is just use this paper or the other one that I had pulled out. Now this is drying very fast. So you may want to do this several times. Mine is drying super fast, faster than I want it to dry because I wanted to be able to, I'm just going to use this one since it's already dirty and I'm going to put some inks on the paper. And I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to blot my cup with it in all these places that I wanna cover it. And it kind of gonna resemble branches from the trees on the camo, you know what I mean? Now a lot of this is gonna be covered. Like I said, you don't, if you're only doing camo, then keep going. I'm doing peekaboo, so most of this will be covered up, so I'm gonna strategically pick places that I want to see with the deer head. You'll understand in a second. So I'm just gonna do this again with my inks, all these different colors. And blot around the cup again. And again, it's going to dry very quickly, so do it as fast as you can. If yours isn't drying that quick, you can use that clean piece that I had set aside for this. But mine is drying quicker. It's probably too warm in the house for this alcohol ink. Get your bottom. If you want more of one color, then just do the one color. So this is what I have. I think I'm gonna get up here a little bit with some colors. Although that's gonna be covered with glitter. I don't really need to do that. So I guess at this point, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just gonna cap up my ink so they don't spill. So now I'm just going to get a one, one layer of epoxy on it. Once I have the epoxy on, then we'll start placing our design. I don't want to put it on here 
because when you pull off, if I put the vinyl on now, it's going to be sticking to spray paint. And when I go to pull the vinyl off, you have a very good chance of peeling the spray paint or yeah, peeling the spray paint off of your cup back down to your metal. So I'm going to seal this all in right now with some epoxy. And then as soon as that's cured, I'm going to use my quick cure, fast cure stuff so I can come back in just a little while and do the next step. I've mixed up about 20 milliliters of my fast set by Counterculture DIY. And this stuff sets fast, so I should be able to work with it in the next two hours. And hopefully we will be able to move on. So I'm just going to cover the whole thing evenly, top, bottom, everywhere. A thin coat, you don't need much for this coat. It's just covering and sealing in all this paint so we don't have a problem peeling it off like I said earlier. So I don't wanna not seal it in. You don't have to seal it like on my videos with like vinyl wraps, I use a sealer first. You don't need to do that here. There's no vinyl we're trying to cover. There should be no reason for fish eyes to happen on this cup because it's it's just flat paint and alcohol inks. There should be nothing to separate your epoxy on this on this layer. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on here. I, 20 milliliters is too much, but I'd rather have a little too much than not enough. And this is a 30 ounce cup. You really don't need much, probably only needed 10 to 15. So I'm just going to get this evenly, pop my bubbles with either a torch or I'll probably use my heat gun since it's sitting right here. Make sure your bottom is nice and flat and then we'll let it cure. If you have a curing machine made for tumblers, you could throw that on too if you don't have a fast set and that'll cut down the drying time. It's been a couple hours. It is cured and it's dry. So I'm gonna, I've been planning this, not really planning it, I'm winging this. I've been thinking about it for a couple hours of exactly how I wanna do it. So first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sand this whole thing down. Any little bumps, I had a little bump there. Plus it'll let everything stick to it better. So just take a piece of sandpaper and go over the surface lightly you don't want to go too deep but if there's any little bumps sticking up now's the time to get them off go around your rim get all that off on the bottom again just real lightly just knock down anything that's sticking up because you don't want that coming through anything and then I'm going to wash it down with alcohol. And I've been thinking more, I mean, I know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm just like, how much camo do I want to show? Because I went through a lot of trouble to get this on here. So I think what I've decided to do is tape off the bottom portion so I don't cover that with glitter. Now I took some extra glitter or extra resin from covering the tat or the tumbler with this to see the color it would come out and this is the one that I chose which goes really well with this. So I think that's the one I'm going to keep. That's my original plan. So I'm just going to tape the bottom portion with this wide wide tape. I think I'll go just below the bottom. And that's just gonna keep it from getting glitter on there. Once we have all our decals on, then you pull the tape off. That one looks pretty good. So I don't need to do the bottom because it's not really gonna touch the bottom. So at this point, I'm going to lay my deer tracks. And I think, I mean, I placed them on the Cricut like this on purpose, kind of like they were walking. 
So I think I'm gonna go around in two places with the deer track, one on the front, one on the back, and then place whatever deer heads that I want on there. So I've got Mod Podge ready. Let me just wipe this down again. I don't know where these pieces came from. Just make sure you have a clean surface, probably from the paper that I just sanded over, which I want to change that out. Let me just get all that off. I don't want that in my glitter. Okay. So I'm just going to take my painter's tape to lift off these deer tracks because I like painter's tape better. It just lifts better. Lifts them off my vinyl better. I don't like transfer tape very much. If you guys have watched me at all, you know that I hate that stuff. And this is just the cheap painter's tape from the Dollar Tree. So this isn't even the good stuff and it works better than transfer tape that you pay good money for. So I'm just going to kind of look, I want to put it where I want the good, the good camo. So kind of like this, this spot of camo and I'm going to go at an angle. And I'm just going to get all my decals in place. And then this one, it's very hard to see them. So I'm gonna mark them with a marker. I guess I should have chosen a different color, but this was the cheapest vinyl that I had that I didn't care about wasting. I think this vinyl actually came from the Dollar Tree and it doesn't do very well. Okay, so that one's there, so I'm going to go on this side, whoops, just kind of wrap it over here, make sure your tracks are on there, it's going to be a pain to get these off, but that's alright, we'll get them. All those little circles and everything. Yeah, that's gonna be real fun. What was I thinking? So I'm gonna take my little Sharpie here and I'm basically marking where they're at because I'm gonna have glitter all over this thing. But I'm gonna try not to cover these. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty sets of feet. So I don't forget how many to look for when I'm ready. Okay, that was seven deer and 20 sets of feet. So 
So what I'm going to try to do is not Mod Podge over them as soon as I can find my brush. So I'm going to, I'm sure it's going to go over them, but I'm just hoping, I'm hoping I can see the deer underneath it. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare for me to do this. Well, here goes nothing. Oh boy. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, I should have used a thicker. That is so thin. Okay, well, here we go. I have a feeling it's going to go on all of it. Oh boy. Yeah, there's really no way for me to do this any other way. Oh my gosh, I hope I could find all these deer. And all these feet that I'm covering up. Yeah, this should be fun. There's just too many pieces to not go over it because I want the glitter to touch everywhere. I'm gonna just test one area. Because what I should have done is spray painted over this, but I didn't. Let me try. Yeah, this will be real fun to find the deer underneath all this. So before this all dries, we're gonna take all that vinyl off that I just put on after I save, save my glitter. And I will definitely speed up the process because I am gonna have a hard time finding them, okay? Surprise, plan B. Oh my gosh, As immediately I realized there was no way I would find all that stuff under the glitter. I just chose the wrong glitter and chunky glitter isn't gonna work like that, especially with this cheap vinyl. So I spray painted it black instead. So I'm gonna incorporate my glitter, a different glitter now, into my resin. So I spray painted everything. You can see the outlines through the spray paint, which is normal. Usually if you pick the right glitter, you can then see it through the glitter. So I'm just gonna remove all the tape and all the vinyl, if I could find the end. And then we're going to go ahead and get this cup finished. Oh my gosh. Okay, so don't wait too long after the paint dries because you don't wanna be ripping anything off. So my bottom will still be pink like I wanted. Now I'm going to go through and peel all of these little stickers off very carefully. Of course, gloves that I hate that never fit right are gonna get in the way. I guess I could take them off for this, but I'm just gonna need them anyway. So I'm just gonna go through, I'm not gonna make you sit through all this. Just start pulling them up, getting them off piece by piece, and then we will go ahead and move on to the next, the next step. One way or another, I am getting glitter on this cup. It's definitely not my plan A.
Okay, that took forever. So this is plan B so far. And as long as I stood at my spray paint shelf wondering which color, I think I picked the right color. I think the pink stands out pretty nicely. So I'm thinking of which glitter I want to use and I think I'm going to use my rainbow shimmer that I generally use for things like this. Um, yeah, probably that one. Let me go pick out the glitter and get some resin mixed up. I'm glad I left the bottom too. Gives you extra pink to look at other than all the black. All right, let me go get some resin mixed up. All right, I mixed up 20 more milliliters and I picked my rainbow shimmer. Uh, you can't see that in there, can you? Oh, maybe you can. That's the one I chose. That's the one I love on my tumblers. This should bring it back to life. And this is my Fast Cure again, same resin. I'm just gonna get a coat on, let it dry, and do it again. It's time to finish this one up. Look at all that sparkle, I love it. Now I did add this washi tape on the seam. It didn't really need it and I couldn't decide if I <clears throat> wanted it or not. I ended up doing it because it had glitter in it. So that is it, I have about five coats of thin resin, five thin coats of resin on this one. So it is all cured. I'm just going to go around the rim and uh, get any extra resin that might have gotten on there off. So just scrape it off. It comes off really easily. This one I didn't do too bad. There's really nothing on there. Then I'm going to take acetone and a paper towel. Clean off the inside, all that spray paint that I got on there. Wash it with soap and water. And that'll be the end of this one. Now I gotta wait till, well, I guess it is after Christmas when you're seeing this. So I will be using this one by the time you get this video because it's almost Christmas. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you learned a new technique today other than the vinyl. And I will be doing some other ones with some different techniques other than vinyl coming up pretty soon. Because you know, the next holiday or season would be Valentine's Day and I need a Valentine's one. All right, you guys, I'll get you some pictures. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys all have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye.